So among the various wobbly pillars of common wisdom about this year's elections is that Republicans are part of some national-level conservative revolution, while Democrats are only worried about the stuff in their own zip codes, and consequently, Republicans are capital I into it right now, and Democrats really aren't. Maybe that's true, I guess. Uh, but I went to a Chris Coons campaign event, a Democratic campaign event on this raw, drizzly Tuesday morning before 9 a.m. today. And not only was the crowd there described to me by a local political reporter as bigger than normal, but the Democrats I met were totally into it and totally into big national what does it all mean Democrat versus Republican issues. Here's a little evidence to hold up against this year's dumb common wisdom. Chris Coons campaign has a decision to make about frankly, how much they're going to talk about Christine O'Donnell. Yeah. How much they're going to, uh, Christine O'Donnell has, is the reason she's a national celebrity is not just because conservatives like her, but because everybody in the country is dying to know what the next thing that's going to be on earth that she's <laughs> 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 because I don't think we should not talk about well, her. Well, this minimize her. Talk about her. See what it's the media so did. Yeah. They made Sarah Palin bigger than life. Right. They're getting ready to do the same I thing to Christine O'Donnell. O'Donnell. I think you give them too much air time. I cannot watch a show on television yeah. without seeing Sarah Palin yeah. or something she said. Put Pay yourself in it. my shoes, though. I have secret information from China. <laughs> that I'm just going to file that away. No, 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 this no. Is a major party candidate for United States Senate. Yeah. <laughs> who gave, who declassified it to you? Yeah. Right. It's, 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 you can't yeah. say don't cover it. And without Christina yeah. O'Donnell, we wouldn't have so much fun watching you at night. <laughs> <laughs> Is it irresponsible either to the voters or is it irresponsible strategically? If you have a if you have an opponent who says I have access to secret classified information that China is trying to invade the United States. <laughs> and my, I can't tell you where I got that. Is it irresponsible either to the voters or is it irresponsible strategically to not go after your opponent? When they say things like that, I mean, it's one thing to say you don't right. don't give Christina don't give all the craziness too much attention. But when the craziness is really crazy, do you have to talk about it? Well, well the flip well, side, the flip side speaks for, for itself. I mean, she hasn't done a darn thing. Hey, right. I think that you know, uh, speaking for myself, if. Chris Coons were dismembered and in a body bag, I would vote Still for fun. him yeah. over, yeah. over <laughs> Christine O'Donnell because he would do more for the state of Delaware than Christine O'Donnell. One way I'd like to see Delaware be different from the rest of the nation is I'd like to see a state where we didn't have to literally go out and knock on doors and beg people to participate by going to the polls on November the 2nd and casting You're saying you do have to beg people here? Absolutely. Well, yeah. I Absolutely. Our turnout is... Ex- I guess, and, I, and, I, and I just said, I'd like to be able to dis- distinguish so us vote. against the yeah. rest of the nation mm-hmm. by having a community that really cares beyond yeah. the pr- small percentage of people that showed up here today. I got a robocall. Uh, you know, in yes. like Delaware to be but more enthused. I, I my rights, we shouldn't have anything to worry about in Delaware. Look at the turnout we had when President Obama was elected. Yeah. Oh, but gosh darn, that turnout never happened before because for the first time in Delaware history, we had African Americans registered to vote and they got out and voted. Voted. And if they don't get out and vote this time, right. we could lose it all again. Oh, yeah. We can. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. right. right. We don't want that to happen. Before. You know what? No. It took George Bush eight years to run the economy into the ground. Right. They want President Obama to fix it's it in 18 it. months. <laughs> Unheard of. Yeah. He's yeah. not a, they I mean, a chance. That he's not fight. a magician, yeah. okay? He can't chance. do it. No? Right. I mean, we have to support him. If you went yeah. out in two 2008 and help it like Tim, you got to help him get his policies through. If you don't, if you sit at home, you're angry, (laughs) wait until the Republicans get in. I I feel like I'm holding the door right now and you're knocking on it. (laughs) (laughs) Right now now you're like, oh, you're now waking your civic civic conscience. So the rock rib Democrats of Newcastle County, Delaware, are not consenting to or participating in any enthusiasm gap this year. Thank you very much. And then there is the very famous, well-funded Republican here in the Senate race in Delaware, Christine O'Donnell. We really, truly wanted to interview Ms. O'Donnell or anyone from Delaware affiliated with her campaign today. Oh, how we tried. The results of that quixotic bit of shoe leather reporting is coming up. We are live in Newark, Delaware. Please do stick around. Yeah.